Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. It's day two up here in the mountains of Maryland for some fall bass fishing. It was on fire yesterday. So this is pretty much round two up on the same lake. I was thinking about hitting another spot here locally, but I just couldn't resist with as much action as I had yesterday with the smallmouth, a handful of walleye. I even caught a big old yellow perch and a largemouth. Multi-species action has been crazy. The jerkbait bite, the fall jerkbait bite, guys, it's just ridiculous. The uh, umbrella rig actually caught a few. So I'm back at it. I'm going to see what happens today. I'm sure it's going to be just another incredible day because the weather is identical. We've got Baby, maybe low 70s. The water temperature dropped last night because it was in the high 30s, but it's just going to skyrocket. These fish are going to go nuts. The wind is right, the water clarity is right, and the time of year is right. So let's get back at it and crush some of these fall bass. All right, pretty basic stuff here, folks. We've got a really, really steep bank with lots of rocks, and I'm about, I'd say, a third back into the short little creek here. So I'm going to go ahead and get up on this uh, extremely exposed bank. Again, the fall drawdown on these mountain reservoirs is insane. Water is way low, but it's really, really keeping the fish in predictable areas. So once I get up on the shoreline, 45 degrees to the bank, if not directly parallel to the bank is where it's been happening. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, kind of redundant, but when it works, it works, right guys? Just like yesterday, all day, most of the day, it was the Jack All Re-Range in that beautiful color. I threw the Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one a few times, and a handful of casts was productive with that there Alabama rig for a few fish. So let's see how this all turns out with the first cast of the day. Never, ever fished this stretch of this lake in my life. So this is a brand new spot but the sun's beating down on it and that sun's warming this side first. So that's why I thought I'd try and the wind's gonna blow me perfectly down the bank. So game's on. I'm gonna get a little tighter to this here bank. Surprisingly, nothing on the first two casts. That's a little unusual the way this lake's been uh, turning out these fish, but I'm not surprised. The water temps went from 62 degrees plus when I left yesterday down to 50, 58 and a half. So the Pretty significant drop in temps, which is again a reason why I'm fishing the sunny side. Just these rocks and this side is going to warm quicker, and that's going to hopefully turn the bass on quicker. So if I'm lucky, once I get to the end, especially towards the main lake and that main point, that's where I'll probably pick up my first fish. But anything else before then is going to be a bonus. I was out a little bit later in the morning when the sun had been up for a little while yesterday. It's a little earlier today. I was already down here. I pretty much camped in the vehicle overnight, so it wasn't anything for me to get up and get out. So you know what I'm going to do? Considering the water temps and that cool off, I'm going to go to the Mega Bass Vision 110 and get down just a little deeper, just a little deeper in case these fish backed off these banks a little bit. And that couple extra feet with that bad boy might end up being the ticket earlier. So let's go ahead and throw this out a couple casts. Quick change up, maybe, maybe 10, 15 casts with that re-range, nothing. So let's see what happens here. Oh, that took a minute, guys, but that's, oh my gosh, first fish of the day, and it's a giant. It's pulling so hard, guys. Uh, I worked my way all the way around to this far point in the shade now, and the first fish of the day is a giant smallmouth, absolutely huge smallmouth. And you know what? It's, again, calling for a net. I mean, I got the net for a reason, guys, because there's been some great big fish out here, and what a first fish of the day. Seriously, guys, this is absolutely amazing. Look at this thing go. Let me get a little bit more line. I hope I don't lose this one. That's a great way to start, guys. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This might be, this is close to one of the biggest smallies I've caught out of this lake. <laughs> it's the first fish of the day. You wonder why I came back out here? This is why right here. Look at that beautiful fish. Absolutely amazing. Maybe, maybe not quite the biggest fish. I haven't even gotten the pliers out yet. That's how unprepared I am because I was so excited to make a cast or two. But what do you think of that beauty? Not quite the biggest, maybe close. But that's a heck of a way to start the day. What a fight that was too, early in the morning. Going back. I am so happy I landed that first fish of the day and on a spot I hadn't fished on this lake before, so I learned something. So that was on a shady point early in the morning, but I'm back in some sun. I'm on the opposite side where the sun's shining and this, uh, this here rocky bank leading to this point is very productive. I've caught many a fish here, including some really nice walleye. So let's keep chucking a wine in this mega bass and see how it works out. It's extremely calm. I'd rather have a little bit more wind, but it didn't need any wind to catch that first one. So hopefully this will still be the ticket. All right, I'm leaving that rocky point where I caught zero, a big zero over there, shocking, uh, but not in a way. I mean, even the drop shot didn't pick up a fish. It was that point over there where I caught the first fish in the shade 
and uh, the bite is a little bit off this morning. I'm sure it's at water temperature. So I'm going out by the dam. I was going to go that way towards a real steep, steep, steep bluff wall, but a couple guys showed up, and no surprise, it's so nice, and it is a weekend. So instead of uh, maybe making a trip all the way down there just to find them on that bluff wall, I'm going to head the other direction towards the dam, and on the way, hit a couple spots I know are usually productive. And between a jerk bait, Alabama rig, maybe a drop shot, dead rig, whatever I gotta do on a little bit more calm day, I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll find some fish. So away we go. Alright, the first stop on my way to the dam is the point right by the boat ramp. I was just here. It's like deja vu last night. It's about right here where I caught the last fish of the day, and it was a nice one. So I think I was throwing the re-range. I can't remember what I was throwing, but I got the mega bass in my hand again. It's still a little early. And they might be a little deep, but regardless, the thing catches the heck out of them. So let's fish this with a jerk bait for a little bit. I will throw a drop shot here before I leave, just to see if I can pick up a bass or two, or who knows what else. And we'll go from there. Oh, baby, got one. Finally. I'm glad I turned around. Guys, I'm still on the boat ramp point and this is exactly whoa and there he goes i'm okay with that because i know there's more to come okay guys number three bite it's been a few and far between this guy was running at me i had no idea what i had here feels like it's decent oh yeah that's why another fish in the side <laughs> this guy got it look at this literally every single every single hook front middle back that's fish number three, two in the boat. All right, number four bite. Let's see if we can get number three fish in the boat. Another decent little fish. It is turning on. That wasn't more than maybe six, eight casts. It's a decent little fish right there. Another fish with all three hooks in them. There we go, guys. All right, decent fish. Oh, it's number, what, number five bite, number hopefully four fish in the boat? They're all always, always awesome to catch. <laughs> you know, the numbers, again, are just insane in here. The average size is pretty decent. Not a lot of dinks. I've caught a bunch of dinks. In these videos, you're not seeing, I'm telling you, not seeing probably half the fish I'm catching. It's that crazy. But yeah, good bite again. It's starting off a little bit slower than yesterday. That's okay, because it is definitely, definitely turning on. All right, I've made it back to the scene of the crime, guys. I'm right back down here by the dam. I'm on the very end where I started that away towards the dam and hooked up something giant. I don't know what it was. Probably a big walleye, I'm guessing, since I caught my personal best walleye down yonder. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw some jerk baits. I'm going to throw the Alabama rig. The only problem here is that we've got no wind. There is no wind here whatsoever. So if I see fish, if I see stuff down on the bottom, I'm going to throw a drop shot to them and hopefully pick off a few that way. But let's get, uh, let's get the moving baits in the water and start that way. There's a first, first fish of the day. First cast on the Alabama rig. Unbelievable, guys. First cast, first cast, and it's a nice one. Look at the colors on that beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous, not quite as big. You got two hooks in them, unbelievable. Guys, that is so killer, so awesome. I can't even believe how great this is. Such a great time. Look at that fish, let me get some pliers, hang tight. Got them out, guys. Another beautiful smallie, first cast of the Alabama rig in slick, calm water too. It's obviously working. That is such a vicious bite. Absolutely incredible feeling. So here's cast number two. Let's see if we can get another one. That's nice steady retrieve. No twitching, no nothing. Just letting that little umbrella flash mob junior something or other do its thing. Same exact setup as yesterday. Just a couple uh, biospawn exo swims, dipped chartreuse tails, and a couple pearl colored trailers up there. Only three hooks, Maryland style. So eighth ounce. Jig heads, 20 pound test fluorocarbon. And it's putting on a show down there. I have almost made it all the way to the end of the dam here, folks, with just two more bites after the first cast fish. That was unbelievable. First cast, whack one, going with the whole length and not another fish. But at least I got a couple taps. So I'm going to finish off the uh, dam wall here pretty much with this Alabama rig. Turn around, work it out with a jerk bait, and then if I have to, 
once I see some fish down low, I might throw that drop shot to them. So let's just mix it up and see what it takes to catch them. There we go. First drop shot fish, folks. That's what I needed to do right there. Oh my gosh, figures. <laughs> it's got to be an itty bitty little dink, but in the past two days, for the past two days, I have not thrown one soft plastic bait until now. Well, I made it through a couple times a little earlier today, but there's the first fish with it. Got to start somewhere, right? At least with the drop shot. Well, at least I found out what kind of zone they're in. You know, when there's one, there's more. And just because he was little doesn't mean there's not any big ones down there. So I'm just barely 45 degree to the bank, just dropping it straight down off the drop. And I've seen fish at all levels on the bottom. A lot of suspended fish too. So with this calm, calm water. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Back-to-back -back casts, and this is a better fish. Look at that, it hit the bottom and bang, game on, drop shot, that's so cool. So yeah, that was pretty shallow where he's going. He's running at me, look at this fish. Let's see what we got here. Felt like a decent fish, yeah, look at him. Nice small mouth, gosh. When it goes calm, guys, when it gets calm, like look at he's spitting up tiny, itty bit of little bait fish. So there's a sign, there's a sign, things to come. Great, great fish. Six pound test, I'm gonna be careful with this guy. Come here, come here. He's right in the nose. He's not going anywhere. Gently in the boat he comes. Back to back cast with the drop shot, guys. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes and the way things are going, this might be the way I'm gonna go for a little while. Mm, that was a heck of a bite right there, guys. Wow, third fish on a drop shot, another nice one. That is such a great feeling. Wow, these are just great fighting fish. Look at that fish in there. Little color to the water. Oh, when he gets off, that's okay with me. I'm happy to fight him for a minute. But yeah, that water's got a little color to it. So this darker purple is great. So they're definitely seeing it and they're definitely eating it. So third fish hooked up on a drop shot. Let's try and bring one to the boat next time. Mm. Back to back cast, guys. Lost one and got another one here. Another nice fish. Jeez. Absolutely awesome. Loosen up that drag a little bit. So let's see if we can play this fish a little bit better. Go a little easy because he's a good one. He's definitely a nice fish. Look at that in the water. Beautiful. Come here. Another another little bait fish he's spitting up. This fish spitting up fish too. All right, come here. This one's hooked a little better, I think. Oh yeah, he's not right, behind, right in the bone, right in the back of the bone. Little itty bitty tiny bait fish these fish are spitting up. So it's always interesting to see. Good belly on them too. There we go. Got that one, whatever it was. Let's see what we got here. Uh, decent little smallmouth, it looks like. Okay. That was almost vertical right there, guys. Yep. Got myself a little smally. Beautiful. The drop shot's still working. Few and far between, but the ones that I'm getting are decent. They're fun. With the little rod. Oh, and there he goes. That was just me trying to hoist him up. I'm not too worried. I've seen plenty of smallmouth over the past couple days, so I'm not worried about letting one go like that. Quick release. Let's drop back in there and see if there's another one. Mm. I felt you bite that one. <laughs> there's another one, guys. Yep, my drag's loose. Because I don't want to lose these beauties. Look at that thing. Awesome. Drop shot is still producing very well. <laughs> very well. Let's see if we can get this one in the boat. Nice, 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 nice. Mm. So awesome. Oh, baby. That's a fish that feels like a good one. Decent fish, guys. Back to the jerk bait. Didn't take long, maybe 10 casts, and I got myself one. I got myself a bite, too. That's a decent fish, and he gets off. That's the way it goes with treble hooks sometimes. But, guys, that's awesome this little breeze i bet i probably could have caught some in that calm water but that drop shot was calling to me so plucked a few off with the drop shot i got my little soft plastic fix and now it's time to maybe get this jerk bait bite back on again so little tiny ripple let's get at it let's see if we can pull one in next time and that's the first bite oh my gosh back now back to back cast i was just about to say and that's the uh now this is the second bite with the Jack All Rearrange, the one I've been doing so much damage with. So it was the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One all morning. And now the Rearrange is back in my hand. Okay guys, there he is. 
Another re-range fish. Let's see if this one comes in the boat. And he does. Beauty. Sunshiny and beautiful. Oh my god, that pulled back so hard. What in the world? My gosh, what a bite. Little guy, but man, what a bite that was. Incredible. Look at all that stuff he got. He got every single hook from top to bottom. That's happened a few times today and yesterday. There we go. Catch up to him. Catch up to him. Dink. <laughs> Just a dink. Number 452, I think. No, nothing like that, guys, but it's, it's pretty crazy. Oh, baby, what a bite that was. That was a really good, good hit. That's a nice fish. I hope this one stays on, guys, because this is one of the better fish of the day. And just moving around, covering water. He looks like he's hooked pretty well. And he's net worthy. He's net worthy, guys. Here it comes. Please stay on. Looks like he may have gotten another hook in him. Oh, and he gets off. That's okay. A little too late with the net, but that's all right. Still hooking him. And even with this calm wind, the jerkbait is still making it happen. Awesome. Mm. Another good bite, guys. Another good bite. Let's see if I can get this one in the boat. That was up way more shallow. Man, what a nice bite that was. Let's see. Ooh, a largemouth, it looks like, guys. First largemouth of the day. Let's see if we can get him in here. There he is. First largemouth, guys. So two species today. No walleye, no yellow perch, no trout, but... Largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. How cool is that? There we go, guys. Gosh, just still whacking them. Just still whacking them. Largemouth to smallmouth in the boat. Shaking that re-range. Back to back guys, back to back cast right there. Awesome, got this one in the back. Man, crazy. What do we got here? It's a largemouth? Yep, little largemouth. He's a crazy looking largemouth though. He's like a mix between a largemouth and a smallmouth. Crazy, got him in the back. Man, he is so different looking. Isn't he crazy? Is that a small, you know what? It's a smallmouth. Guys, you tell me what's going on right here. This is just the craziest looking largemouth, smallmouth mix I've ever seen, weird. Oh, three in a row, guys. Three in a row, and it was a good bite. Pulled a little drag even, but it's not that big. But, man, he pulled it good. That's three in a row. That's a real small mouth right there. Oh, my God, what a bite. Oh, my gosh, that was awesome. Guys, that was an awesome bite. It's a bigger fish right here. That's only a couple of casts later. And I'm on another smallie, a nice one. I'll walk him around the boat. Sweet, just smashing them, guys. This is the uh, afternoon warm up I was talking about. This afternoon warm up, three degrees. I'm over 61 degrees over here by the railroad bridge, and they are crushing it. That's like four fish and not too many casts. So, and a pretty good one too. Going back. After those three fish in a row, I was tempted to pick up the drop shot because once I catch that many fish in one little spot and it's this calm, I could easily drop that drop shot down and just annihilate them. But again, there's something about a jerkbait bite. You just don't want to put it down. It can be fast and furious. And obviously, I'm glad I held on to it because that was a little bit bigger fish and I got them on a moving bait. Let's try another one. Right in the shade line of this railroad trussel. That's, oh my God, I got crushed again right by the railroad. <laughs> Holy crap, it feels like a good fish. It feels like a really good fish. If it's not hooked in the side, it's another one. Another really nice one, guys. Right by the railroad bridge and right in the shade of it. That's perfect. This is a good fish. This is a good fish, guys. A really nice one. Look at the mouth on him. He's wide open. Oh my gosh, I think it's a big large mouth. It's a great big large mouth. I'm gonna do this. Wow, look at this. Unbelievable large mouth, guys. 
beautiful, beautiful largemouth. I mean, look at this thing. Dude, that is so incredible. I can't believe the kind of days I'm having out here. Too much crazy awesomeness going on. Come on, let go of this. Let me see this thing. There he is. Guys, seriously, let's get the sun just right. Look at that beautiful largemouth. Unbelievable. Guys, it's been crazy. And the biggest fish of the day ends up being a largemouth? Too much. I caught a big largemouth here not too long ago, a few trips back, but a lot warm water temps, and I caught it on a fluke, a weightless fluke. And it was probably a little bit smaller than that, not much, guys, back to back again, another one, unreal, good lord. This is just too much craziness, guys, a little smallmouth, a tiny little dink after a great big, beautiful largemouth. Let me get this one back and get back in there because it's on right now, guys. Mm. Gosh, what a bite. <laughs> Guys, I just started moving the boat too. That's not helpful. Got all the fall leaves getting wrapped up in my bass. But he's in the boat. Another one, guys. Number, honestly, I have no idea. Way, way over 30. Easy, 30 plus, guys. On a slower day than yesterday. Yesterday was a 50, 60 plus day. Oh, that's a nice bite. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Wow, what a fight. <laughs> that's awesome. Just a basic little drop off right here, guys. And a really, wow, I actually should have probably thought about netting that one. And blinded by the sun, guys. The sun is right in my eyes. Look at that beautiful fish. Unreal. Guys, oh, it's been non-stop action craziness today. This has been so much fun. I made an executive's decision to not actually fish the other lake that I was thinking about fishing because I got company on the lake today. I actually had a few more people come out, including some jet skiers. So from what I understand, the other lake that I was gonna fish uh, is about 2,600 acres, and it's a real, real popular lake for power boating and jet skiing and water skiing and all that. Now, it's November, there's probably not gonna be that many people out there, but compared to out here, there's no reason to fish anywhere else. So I'm sticking it out here for this afternoon. I got one more day to fish tomorrow and it will be back out here. So hopefully you guys aren't too bored watching me just annihilate all these fish. In the meantime, let's annihilate some more. There we go. Oh gosh, that was great. That feels pretty heavy. I don't know what's going on here yet. Maybe in the side again. Oh, it's a nice fish. <laughs> it's a nice one, guys. Wow, what a good looking bass. Too awesome, look at him. Another good one, guys, another good one, just covering water. Come on in here. Stout, stout, stout. There's one, oh God. Never know how big they are until they jump. He's another decent one. Not as big as the last, oh, but he's close, he's close. <laughs> There we go. Another one. Another one, guys. I'm averaging a fish every three to six minutes. Every three to six minutes, I'm pulling a fish in. It's like that, guys. We pulled back hard. Guys, unreal. Seriously. Absolutely insane. I have gone through an entire SD card. I actually just erased the last four minute clip and have just enough room to bring this one in real quick before I have to change it out, but unreal. That's gonna be the last one on the 64 gig SD card. That's how much footage I've got. And I filled the one up yesterday and had to move into another one. So yeah, 120 plus, 130 gigs of footage out here, guys, just annihilating these beautiful mountain bass. Going back. There we go, back to back cast, guys, back to back. This one looks like it might have a little more to him, at least the way he's splashing. Nice fish. Another nice one, guys. Just another, another, oh, a largemouth. <laughs> surprise, surprise. There we go, handful of these today. That's pretty cool. All right, keeps things interesting. Appreciate you, Mr. Greenfish. There we go. Oh boy, what do we got here? I hope you're in the mouth because you feel like you're a decent sized fish. Oh gosh, this is, this is a pulling fish, guys. It's actually pulling the boat. It's got to be in the side. No, what, what, what? Yeah, it's kind of head and in the side and everything. It's full blown coming in sideways again. These are the biggest teases of the day, but boy, when they got some meat on them, 
and they're hooked in the side like that. Boy, that is one heck of a pull. But yeah, just another nice average, hooked everywhere, small mouth. <laughs> All right, I made the decision. I'm gonna call it on the next fish. Normally I like to call it on a sign out fish over by the boat ramp. The point by the boat ramp always gives up a really nice fish at the end of the night, but that boat ramp and that area has been banged out pretty hard by some, uh, by some jet skiers. They've been running and gunning all afternoon over there. So all kinds of noise and all kinds of stuff going on over there. So I'm gonna make whatever fish I catch the last fish of again, what was an incredible day of fall bass fishing up here in the mountains of Maryland. And oh my Lord have mercy, guys, a great big giant. I was swimming it in. I wasn't even jerking it and he got it right in the throat. A really nice one. He's a madman. I might lose this fish. He's in the hard plate of the gill. I'm gonna try and get him in here. I think he'll come in. I don't think I need the net. I think I'm just gonna go like that. And how about that for a sign how fish it happens like that? all the time out here guys this is a really nice chunky fish and the way he bit was a night maker it's been a day maker it's been two day maker and tomorrow it's going to be a three day maker because i'm not going anywhere i'm going to nap out camp out hang out and then come out here and do it all over again so folks as always i appreciate you joining me as always i appreciate you subscribing and until we meet again over and out